I actually wanted to be a veterinarian growing up. I loved animals since childhood. Um, I've had almost every animal you could think of. I landed in grooming and I actually fell in love with grooming. A lot of people think that pet coloring is harmful for the pets. Everyone in the industry uses pet-friendly products that are non-toxic, no ammonia, no alcohol, um, so it is really a vegan-based and it's really okay for the pets. So Zeus is a very outgoing standard poodle. Um, he knows when people are talking about him because he starts to put on a show. I would say he's rather confident in um, his personality and all about his color and the spots that he proudly wears. Kevin is a baby, he's just barely one years old and he is kind of like a toddler. He kind of goes with the flow, but he's a big Zeus copycat. For Kelly, got a touch of color. She was, as her mom would say, a little bit depressed and she didn't want to go for walks. Uh, she didn't even want to go out the house. Callie is so fancy about her toenails. She won't mess with them. She will come back uh, for her next grooming and all the drills will still be on. And when she lays down, she crosses her hands like this and she really shows off her toenails. <laughs> Bling is the coolest cat in his neighborhood. As a groomer, I am very in tune of each individual pet and their body. So I can feel if there's a new lump, bump, just anything concerning that I find, um, I will always report to the owner. I've probably saved about five pets because we caught a cancerous lump early on in the stage and we've saved lives. 